you do not need saving. This is a foundational understanding of magic and of life. Let me say this a little bit differently as well. You will never be saved. Stop waiting. Stop waiting for someone else's permission for the whole you to be. Rather, see how you have already been saved and are always saved. Originally, the meaning of salvation was meant to be only an affirmation of your safety and healing and belovedness, the relief of the memory of one's true self. Salvation was never meant to be the project you undertake within and pay for with endless hours of your earth life, nor with allegiance to institutional and paradigmatic strictures. Magic cannot save you, or rescue you, or ameliorate lack in you, because there is no lack in you. You are safe, loved, worthy, powerful, and joyful. I'm going to keep saying that until you remember. I understand the need and desire to protect and avoid from hurt and to need to manage the hurt that comes. Earth life is often full of hurt. One searches for the way to safety and cure and peace. Trust me, I get it. We all do. We may reach for salvation and also attempt to use magic as salvation, thinking they are that cure. But salvation and magic fail as the cure for hurt and loss. This is not magic's offering. Thankfully, there are within Earth right now available paths from our sages and fellow earthlings, ancient and new, that provide guidance to balm our grief, provide relief from pain we have received and inflicted, and that invite us back to our enthusiasm. If life is not meant to be taken up with the busyness of salvation, then what? If you were once interested in wielding magic for gain, rescue, protection, power, and specialness, and you now realize you aren't missing any of these that would require magic or method to obtain, then why magic? Why is magic given? What is the offering of magic? Why have we come to participate in this magical realm we call Earth? If not salvation, then what is meant to be the groove in the hours we have here on Earth? I will answer, but let me talk a little more about the question. The magical worldview, the vow, understands that we are embraced by the mother. The magician is not searching or making effort for food or shelter or any bodily need because it is before them. The abundance is at hand. The magician is also not searching for love or anything similar because, again, it is before them. They are loved of the mother. Everything needed is before them or brought to them, because that's just how the mother flows. Now, please do not misunderstand me, so let me give two points of nuance. First, the magician is not the only child of the mother. We all are. 
I speak of the magician being the child of Earth because this series is about the path of the magician. But this series is not all that could be said of the mother. So I'm not saying that the mother provides only for the magician. The mother provides for all of her children, of which the magician is one. The magician has come to this knowledge, this flow, before they even undertake the path of their dedication. This flow is what the king has obtained and what the fool knows without any obtaining. So the magician is already transcendent of the scrambling that humans tend to do for their needs. And thus the magician is ready for the question and answer beyond that. I have all I need, I have all I want, and all of my previous doings were to get what I need and get what I want. Now that this flow is with me and before me, what do I do? Is there anything left to do? Or does earth life stop being purposeful and interesting once we've gotten all our needs and our desire, desires? And give me a minute, I'm going to answer that. I'm still setting the question. And now I want to make my second nuanced point. And that is, as the listener to this video, you may not feel abundant or in flow. And you may feel that you are missing needs or are actually missing needs. And to that I say, yeah, hashtag earth life. We've all been there, and it can sometimes come up at any time. I encourage you to reclaim your mother's embrace. That may be a type of path to seek out and live additional to the magician's path. I'm not saying to have to set the magician's path aside, but do realize that the viewpoint of the magician is already that they are fed. Even if you personally don't feel fully fed yet and have some opportunity for that specific revelation, that question and answer is not in the magician's path, but already answered for the magician. So imagine it for now, if you aren't quite living it yet. I do have some other offerings on my channel that may bless in this regard of being fed and enthused. Perhaps check out the Aligning with Cycle series, Keys of Muladhara series, Keys of Vitality series. I will continue to offer healing principles on the channel as I continue to create and share what I know with you. But this particular series, Keys of Magic, there's a different type of opportunity. Now, the answer of what you do within Earth life as a magician. As the magician, you are now ready to develop and give your unique gift to the Earth to express which color of the rainbow you are. The magician is the artisan. The magician gifts their art to the world, and thus the world is enriched and even more magical because it is full of the giving and receiving of these arts. We may live magically from enjoyment to enjoyment. As the king, you overcame the elements. As the wise fool, you surrendered to the elements. As the magician, you will come to combine and direct the elements, resulting in the creation of the world. The magician becomes part of yielding the abundance the mother offers all her children. You are the magic. You get to choose your methods according to your preferences, i.e. whatever is fun to you. In subjugation, which includes the falsehood of lack and the hamster wheel of salvation, the question of enjoyment and preference and uniqueness is not asked. 
and on an individual level to ask and answer what is one's enjoyment, one's gift, one's art, one's preference, can be difficult, can be very new territory, especially if one is still in subjugation or fresh out. Having the courage, the audacity, to ask this question can open the cage for you, or help out mightily, at least. Being you is salvation. Being you is magic. <laughs>